Now, whether you file your taxes already or are still thinking about it, it is not something to take lightly. A little time and attention can help you get a little more bang for your buck. Yeah, so fellow procrastinators, this one's for you. I sat down with Courtney Alev, head of tax at Intuit Credit Karma, for some tax season tips and how to make the most of this year's refund. Courtney, let's first talk about the folks who have not yet filed their taxes this year. What do you need to do to prepare? If you hear the word tax season and you're feeling nervous, you are far from alone. In fact, nearly one in three Americans told us that they are dreading filing their taxes this tax season. And if that describes you, I'm here to tell you it does not need to be scary. The two things you need to do are to get organized and to make a plan. You're probably already receiving a bunch of tax-related documents, either in the mail or in your email. Get a shoebox and put it on your desk for anything coming in the mail so you can save it and have it ready to go. Or maybe create a dedicated folder on your computer for anything electronic. That'll really help you when it comes time to do your taxes, knowing you've got everything ready. And as hard as it might be, really try not to procrastinate. I know I'm the queen of leaving things like this until the last minute, but the earlier you file your taxes, the earlier you're going to get that tax refund if you're owed one. Absolutely. That is some good motivation to uh, get it together and get it filed, speaking from a procrastinator's perspective as well. Uh, you know, there are so many options when it comes to filing your taxes, whether you do it in person with a tax filer, uh, with an online preparation software. How do you know what's right for you? There are so many options and it's gonna be really, really overwhelming, especially for people who've never filed taxes before. So it's a great idea to do a little bit of research to understand what's out there and what might be best for you. But the good news is that these online tools have gotten really smart. They're fast, they're easy, they're intuitive, and they can really hold your hand through that entire tax filing process. But if you're still feeling nervous, you just really want that human touch, you wanna to feel reassured that you're doing everything right, a lot of these online options like TurboTax also offer expert assistance. That's good, good to know. I know uh, there have been times where I have needed some help for sure. What are some of the biggest yeah. uh, mistakes and problems that you see people running into when they're filing? The biggest mistake is really waiting till the last minute. It can be really easy to put it off, but if you're waiting until the last day, it's just gonna be stressful. It's gonna be weighing on you. You're probably gonna be a little bit flustered. It might be hard to find all your forms in time. It just increases the chances that you're gonna make a mistake or leave something out. And the good news is that there's a lot of safeguards built into these online tools that will alert you if it looks like you did something wrong or you missed something, but be kind to yourself. Don't put yourself in this position to be really stressed out by waiting until the last minute. Try to file with time to spare. Mm -hmm. And of course, as you mentioned, the refund is kind of the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow here. Uh, so what do you suggest people do with their refund this year? The number one tip I have for those who are getting a refund is to not let it burn a hole in your pocket. It can be so easy and tempting to take it and just splurge or treat yourself. And there's nothing wrong with putting aside a small amount, maybe 10%, 20% tops to splurge. But the refund is also just a really great tool to make progress on your financial goals. Maybe you've got some credit card debt and you can use the refund to pay that off. Or maybe you've struggled to save or don't have an emergency fund and you can use the refund to build that up. So whatever is your own personal financial goal, you can really use that refund to get 2024 off to a great financial start. I love it. So where is a good place for folks to go if they're looking for some more info to you know, make some of those tax plans? They can go to creditkarma.com or turbotax.com. There's a lot of free online tools that can help you estimate your refund or how big your tax bill is going to be. And you can get all of your questions answered about tax season to be ready to file. All right, Courtney Alev, head of tax at Credit Karma. I'm feeling more reassured this morning. Thank you for your advice. Thank you for having me. And since my chat with Courtney, I still have not filed my taxes, but I do feel more ready to do it maybe this weekend yeah i've already <laughs> uh filed already gotten my returns back there as a matter you go. of fact uh and uh it was really easy i also use TurboTax, mm -hmm. Intuit turbo tax and uh it is pretty intuitive it knows you know what your individual state's tax laws are right. uh it's it's a good option it's nice a lot of the online uh options too can you know save from year after year so if you didn't have too many big life changes it should be a pretty smooth process yeah absolutely well uh or